what? New surroundings. It looks a little cluttery. Yes, it does. Reason being, the studio's not ready yet. Point blank. So, here's what we're going to talk about today. We're doing a two for today. You know, where I live, it doesn't snow often. So outside, it's flurrying. So what do you do when it's snowing outside? You play bass. More bass. Anyway, so what I have here in my hands is a 1973 Rick 4001. I've got to tell you, this Rick, uh, and considering how many of them I've actually owned, uh, this thing, ugh, gosh, how do I say this? It's unbelievable. The tone that this bass has... <laughs> is the Trace Elliott over my head through this nice little stack behind me here. Uh, there's nothing in between the pink cord to the amp. There's no pedals, there's nothing. All you're hearing is the bass. And how about this for you Rick fans? My hands are off of it. You hear any noise? I hear the amp, but I don't hear any buzz. This bass has been shielded. Whoever had this bass along the way shielded the tar out of it. So I'll show you in a few minutes. There's a, a plate on the back that has a copper a uh, piece of copper, a flat piece of copper underneath it. And then, uh, there was some stuff done inside to shield the cavities and whatnot. This thing kills. So as usual, as we do when we go through these videos, let's go through and play with this guy and see what it does. The second bass coming up today is a surprise, so I'm going to let that one sit. But let's talk about this one first. So as it sits right now, I have it open. So this is the open sound of the bass, just everything wide. sucking today, but that's because you see this red nose? Uh, this is called the annual cold. So, I can't reach out and touch you and give you cooties. I can just kind of get the hand warmed up because somehow the notes aren't all there. But let's try that again. So, somebody said to me a few minutes ago, Sound like a song from some guy we know, some really cool bass player that used to play one of these all the time. Anyway, so let's see what this thing does now if I move it around a little bit. So now we're going to go front pickup. Front pickup only. Rear. face-off kind of Rick, this is the one. And I'm not even hitting it hard. By the way, these are the Rotosound 3595s. There's some uh, strings that are creeping around in here that are going to show up on some other basses, and I'll talk to you about those when uh, the basses get here that they're going to go on. Funny thing about this guy, too, let me see. This thing has the Grover box tuners on it, which are standard for 73. These suckers do not move. They don't fall apart like most of them do. How often does a rick like a thumb? Anyway, it's even in drop D tuning. Yeah, yeah, it's got something to it. Uh, a couple people have asked about this bass. I actually put this bass out. It is available for sale. I might sell it, I might not, uh, because I don't usually come across a rig that has this kind of bite. Needless to say, if you're interested in it and you want to talk about it, shoot me a message here or send me a message other ways. And uh, yeah, let's play some bass, shall we? <laughs> Watch the video, 
Comments below, bring it. Otherwise, don't get a cold. Try not to get a cold, it sucks. Go play some bass. Until next time, watch for round two today because round two is really interesting. Until that round, here we go.